God is for you, and he will never fail you. Have you ever felt like the world is against you? And no matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to catch a break. Well, my dear friends, I have good news for you today. The Bible tells us in Romans 8 verse 31, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Today, I want to explore the profound truth that God is always on your side, and He will never fail you. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. Imagine a child learning to ride a bicycle for the first time. The child's father is right there holding the back of the seat, running alongside and encouraging the child to keep pedaling. Even when the child wobbles or loses balance, the father is there to catch them and help them start again. My friends, this is a perfect picture of how God is with us. He is our Heavenly Father, who is always by our side, supporting us, guiding us, and catching us when we fall. As 1 John 4 verse 16 tells us, And we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God, and God in him. This scripture reminds us that by living in love, we dwell in God's presence, secure and surrounded in his eternal affection. My friends, God remains steadfast and unchanging. He is a pillar of strength in the shifting sands of life. Let us explore some powerful ways in which God demonstrates his unwavering love and support for us. Let us be reminded that he is our ever-present help in times of trouble. He has a perfect plan for our lives and he empowers us to overcome any obstacle through his strength. Through God's word and through the leading of the Holy Spirit, let us allow his truth to fill our hearts with the assurance that he is always for us and will never fail us and will never fail us. His promises are sure, providing a firm foundation when the waves of uncertainty try to sweep us away. With such a mighty God beside us, we can face every challenge with confidence, knowing we are never alone. Now, let us explore how God is your ever-present help. In Psalm 46, verse 1, we read, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. My dear friends, this verse reminds us that no matter what challenges we face, God is always there to help us. He is not a distant or uninvolved God, but one who is actively present in our lives, ready to provide the strength and support we need. Consider the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the book of Daniel. These three young men were thrown into a fiery furnace because they refused to worship a false god. However, even in the midst of the flames, God was with them. As we read in Daniel 3, verse 25, Look, he answered, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. My friends, these stories are real events that actually happened. Just as God was with these three men in the fire, He is with you in the midst of your trials. God's presence in our lives is not just a comforting thought. It is a reality that we can experience every day. When we pray, we are inviting God into our situations and allowing Him to work in and through us. Prayer is a powerful tool that connects us to our ever-present help in times of need. Also, 
God's presence brings peace to our troubled hearts. When we trust in God's presence, we can experience a peace that surpasses all understanding. Even in the midst of life's storms, this peace is not something that the world can give, but it is a gift from God himself. God's ever-present help is not just for the big challenges in life, but also for the everyday struggles we face. Whether it's a difficult relationship, a financial burden, or a health concern, God is there to guide us and provide for our needs. He is a God who cares about every detail of our lives and desires to help us in our time of need. The Bible is filled with examples of how God's presence transformed the lives of his people. Take the story of Moses, for instance. When God called him to lead the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt, Moses felt inadequate and afraid. But God reassured him, promising to be with him every step of the way. With God's presence and help, Moses was able to accomplish the seemingly impossible task of liberating an entire nation. Similarly, when Joshua was about to lead the Israelites into the Promised Land, God encouraged him with these words in Joshua 1 verse 9, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. My friends, the same God who was with Moses and Joshua is with you today, ready to help you overcome any challenge you may face. In the New Testament, we see how Jesus' presence transformed the lives of his disciples. When they were filled with fear and doubt, Jesus spoke words of comfort and reassurance. He promised to be with them always, even to the end of the age. This promise is not just for the disciples, but for all of us who follow Christ. God's ever-present help is a source of strength and courage in the face of adversity. When we feel weak, we can rely on His strength. With God's help, we can face any obstacle with confidence and faith, knowing that He is by our side. My dear friends, I want to encourage you to cultivate an awareness of God's presence in your life. Take time each day to quiet your heart and listen for His voice. As you draw near to Him, He will draw near to you. When you feel overwhelmed or discouraged, remember that God is your ever-present help, ready to guide, comfort, and strengthen you. Let us hold fast to the truth that God is always with us, no matter what we are going through. He is our refuge, our strength, and our ever-present help in times of trouble. As we trust in His presence and lean on His help, we will find the courage and wisdom to face any challenge that comes our way. Let us now explore how God has a perfect plan for your life. My friends, not only is God our ever-present help, but He also has a perfect plan for each of our lives. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 tells us, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This verse reminds us that even when life seems uncertain or challenging, God is working behind the scenes to bring about His good purposes in our lives. It's easy to get discouraged when things don't go according to our own plans. We may face setbacks, disappointments, or unexpected obstacles that leave us feeling lost or confused. However, we must remember that our plans are not always God's plans. As Isaiah 55 verses 8 to 9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. God's plan for our lives is not always easy or comfortable, 
but it is always for our ultimate good and his glory. Sometimes he allows us to go through difficult seasons to strengthen our faith, teach us valuable lessons, or prepare us for future blessings. In Romans 8, verse 28, we are promised that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. When we trust in God's perfect plan, we can find peace and purpose even in the midst of life's challenges. We can rest assured that He is in control and that He is working all things together for our good. This doesn't mean that we will never face trials or hardships, but it does mean that we can face them with the confidence that God is with us and that He has a greater purpose in mind. One of the keys to embracing God's plan for our lives is to seek His will above our own. This means spending time in prayer, studying His Word, and listening for His direction. As we align our hearts with His, we will begin to see His hand at work in our lives in ways we never could have imagined. Another important aspect of trusting in God's plan is being willing to step out in faith, even when the path ahead seems uncertain. Abraham is a great example of this kind of faith. When God called him to leave his homeland and go to a place he had never been, Abraham obeyed without hesitation. He trusted that God had a plan and a purpose for his life even though he didn't know all the details. Like Abraham, we may be called to take steps of faith that seem risky or uncomfortable. We may be asked to leave behind the familiar and embark on a new journey with God. But when we trust in his plan and follow his leading, we can be confident that he will guide us every step of the way. My dear friends, I want to encourage you to embrace God's perfect plan for your life. Don't be afraid to surrender your own plans and desires to Him, knowing that His ways are higher and His thoughts are greater. Trust that He is working all things together for your good, even when you can't see the bigger picture. As you seek God's will and step out in faith, remember that His plan is not just about your own happiness or success. It's about bringing glory to His name and advancing His kingdom on earth. When you align your life with His purposes, you will find a sense of meaning and fulfillment that goes beyond anything this world can offer. My friends, let us hold fast to the promise that God has a perfect plan for each of our lives. Let us seek His will above our own, trust in His guidance, and step out in faith wherever He leads us. As we do, we will discover the abundant life that He has in store for us, both now and for eternity. And now, let us turn our attention to how God empowers you to overcome. My friends, not only does God have a perfect plan for your life, but He also empowers you to overcome any obstacle you may face along the way. In Philippians 4 verse 13, we are reminded that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This verse is a powerful declaration of the strength and resilience that we have in Christ, no matter what challenges come our way. Life is full of ups and downs, and there will be times when we feel weak, inadequate, or overwhelmed. We may face opposition, setbacks, or even outright failure. But in those moments, we must remember that our strength comes not from ourselves, but from the one who lives within us. When we put our trust in Christ, we have access to a power that is greater than anything this world can offer. As Ephesians 3 verse 20 tells us, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. This means that no matter how big our challenges may seem, God's power is more than sufficient to help us overcome them. One of the ways God empowers us is through the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. When we invite Christ into our hearts, 
we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, who comes to dwell within us and guide us in all truth. The Holy Spirit is our comforter, our advocate, and our source of strength in times of need. Another way God empowers us is through the promises found in His Word. The Bible is full of declarations of God's love, faithfulness, and power. And when we meditate on these truths, they become anchors for our souls in the midst of life's storms. As Joshua 1 verse 8 instructs us, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. God's empowerment is not just for the big, dramatic moments of life, but for the everyday challenges we face as well. Whether it's resisting temptation, overcoming a bad habit, or persevering through a difficult season, God's strength is available to us, moment by moment. As we learn to rely on Him, and draw from His infinite resources, we will find that we are capable of far more than we ever thought possible. It's important to remember that God's empowerment is not something we can earn or deserve. It is a gift of grace, freely given to all who put their trust in Christ. We don't have to strive or struggle in our own strength, but simply surrender our lives to Him and allow His power to work through us. My dear friends, I want to encourage you to embrace the truth that God empowers you to overcome any obstacle you may face. Don't let fear, doubt, or discouragement hold you back from the abundant life He has in store for you. Instead, lean into His strength, trust in His promises, and allow His Holy Spirit to guide and empower you every step of the way. As you face the challenges of life, remember that you are not alone. God is with you, and He is for you. He has given you everything you need to overcome and to fulfill the perfect plan that He has for your life. So stand strong in His power and watch as He works in and through you in ways you never could have imagined. Therefore, let us hold fast to the promise that God empowers us to overcome. Let us trust in His strength, rely on His promises, and allow His Holy Spirit to work in and through us. As we do, we will find that we are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us, and that nothing can separate us from His love and His power. My dear friends, I want to leave you with a final thought the incredible truth that God is for you and that He will never fail you. We have seen that He is our ever-present help in times of trouble, that He has a perfect plan for our lives, and that He empowers us to overcome any obstacle we may face. These truths are not just nice ideas or comforting sentiments. They are powerful realities that have the ability to transform our lives from the inside out when we truly grasp the depth of God's love and faithfulness towards us. It changes everything. It gives us hope in the midst of despair, strength in the face of weakness, and courage in the face of fear. So my challenge to you today is this. Don't just let these truths be something you hear and then forget. Let them sink deep into your heart and mind and allow them to shape the way you live each and every day. Choose to trust in God's goodness, even when life is hard. Choose to surrender your plans to Him, knowing that His ways are higher and His thoughts are greater. And choose to rely on His strength, even when you feel weak and inadequate. As you do, I believe that you will experience the abundant life that Jesus came to give us. You will find joy in the midst of sorrow, peace in the midst of chaos, 
and purpose in the midst of uncertainty, you will discover that with God on your side, nothing can stand against you and that He truly is for you now and forever. So go forth with confidence, knowing that God is with you every step of the way. Trust in His love, lean into His strength, and watch as He works in and through you in ways you never thought possible. And may His peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, now and forevermore. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you with a heart full of praise and adoration. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the creator of the heavens and the earth and the sustainer of all life. You are the great I Am, and you command the morning and establish the boundaries of the night. Your love is everlasting, and your faithfulness and mercy endures forever. I exalt your holy name and declare that you alone are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. Lord, I thank you for your unwavering love and constant presence in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. I am grateful that even in my darkest moments, you have never left my side. I am thankful for your guidance, your protection, and your provision. Forgive me, Lord, for the times I have strayed from your path and failed to trust in your perfect plan. I repent of my sins and ask for your mercy and grace. I also forgive those who have trespassed against me, as you have forgiven me. Almighty God, I am grateful that you are for me, and you will never fail me. In times of trouble, you are my ever-present help, my refuge, and my strength. In the name of Jesus, I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against me in judgment shall be condemned. Father, I trust in your perfect plan for my life. Even when I cannot see the way ahead, I am grateful that you are guiding my every step. I thank you that your thoughts towards me are thoughts to prosper me, and not to harm me, to give me a future and a hope. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I will overcome every obstacle through Christ who strengthens me. I rebuke every spirit of fear, doubt, and discouragement that seeks to hold me back, and I bind them in the name of Jesus. I declare that I am more than a conqueror, through Christ, who loves me, and that nothing can separate me from your love. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit afresh, and grant me the strength and wisdom that I need to face each day with confidence and faith. I ask for your healing touch upon my life. Whether it be physical, emotional, or spiritual healing, Lord, I put my faith in your power to restore and make whole. I declare that by your stripes. I am healed, and I claim victory over every sickness, disease, discomfort, or injury that seeks to afflict me or my loved ones. Protect me, Lord, from the attacks of the enemy. Lead me away from temptation and surround me with your host of angels. For those that are with me are more than those that are against me. Lord, cover me in my comings and goings and deliver me from all evil. I ask for these same blessings upon my loved ones. 
that they too may experience the fullness of your love and grace. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, believing that you are working in our lives and answering our prayers. We claim victory over every challenge we face, and we declare that with you all things are possible. We thank you for your healing power, your protection, and your guidance. Lord, we are grateful that with you on our side, nothing can stand against us. Empower us to live lives that bring glory and honor to your name. Let your kingdom come on earth and in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for all eternity. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you were blessed by this message, type the word Amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you, in the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our daily Jesus devotional channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all those who support us. You're blessed to be a blessing. Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those that are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. I pray. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. Baptism is a symbol of that decision to follow Jesus. I then encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.